Hey Future RTs, yesterday I posted a video for the HQ challenge and it had to do with total flow from the device so I did something called the magic box and I had several people asking questions about how I did the magic box so this video hopefully answers all of those questions. So number one, we do the magic box when we are dealing with air entrainment systems, traditionally Vinnie mask or large volume jet nebulizers so those would be things that we hook up, a face tent, an aerosol mask, a T-bar, um, a trait collar too, all right? And so the purpose of the magic box is to figure out the total flow of the device. So basically when you put that onto the patient, you're delivering a specific FiO2, but it comes up into um, their airway at a certain speed. So the total flow from whatever device we're using. All right, so let's just work an example. Let's do 35%. Okay, 35%, the FiO2 goes in a box. So just put it in a box, that's why it's called the magic box. And what we're wanting to do is to come up with an air to oxygen ratio, all right? So with this box on the top left-hand corner, we have to ask ourselves, what's the FiO2 of room air? And it's 21%, okay? And on the top right-hand corner, what is the FiO2 of pure oxygen? it's 100%. So it's important to set this up. On the left side is the FiO2 of air. On the right side is the FiO2 of oxygen. Then we do this weird kind of math. I take 100 minus 35, and that answer goes down here. That's 65. And then I take 35 minus 21, and that answer goes right here. Okay, so 65 to 14, you have to reduce that. So you're always going to divide from the right to the left because basically oxygen will always be one part. Okay, so 65 divided by 14 is 4.6 repeating. All right, so this is called the air to oxygen ratio. And when your FiO2 is less than 35%, or sorry, when your FiO2 is less than 50%, you're going to round your air to oxygen ratio to the nearest whole number. So 4.6 would be five to one. All right, let me just say that again so it's clear. Anytime the FiO2 in the box is less than 50%, you're gonna round your air to oxygen ratio to the nearest whole number. So 35% is a five to one ratio. Then the next thing you do is you add those two together. So I have six total parts. And let's say I'm running this 35%, the flow meter is set at six liters per minute. So now I take my total parts times the flow on the flow meter and we get 36 liters per minute. So what this means is when I have a Vinnie mask set at 35% and I've got the flow meter set at six, that 35% is coming up out of that mass to the patient at a speed of 36 liters per minute. And the whole point is to make sure the total flow of the device exceeds the patient's inspiratory flow. That way they get a precise FiO2. All right, so that's how you do it. Let me show you a little bit of a shortcut on a math. As long as the number inside the box is 40% or higher, when we're using, remember this is an air to oxygen ratio we want, you can use 20 as far as the number for the FiO2 of air instead of 21. Now, if you don't wanna remember that, you can use 21 all the time and it makes it right, but this math is a little bit easier sometimes when you use 20 instead of 21. So we do this again, 40 or 100 minus 40 is 60, 40 minus 20 is 20, Reduce both sides. So 60 divided by 20 is three. 20 divided by 20 is one. Four total parts. Let's say we're running this at um, eight. The flow meter is on eight liters per minute. All right, so we take four times eight. That would be 32 liters per minute. So when we have a 40% Vinny mask, running at eight liters per minute on the flow meter, that 40% is coming up to the patient at a speed of 32. And again, 
the total flow from the device must exceed the patient's inspiratory flow for it to be a high flow system. Now, if you're having a little bit of trouble with that concept, I have a YouTube video um, de defining the differences between high flow and low flow on my YouTube channel. So, all right, let's just do one more just because it's fun, right? Let's do 50. All right. All right, inside the box is the FiO2. And let's say that I am gonna run this 50% Vinny mask at 10 liters per minute. All right, because this is 40 or higher, I'm gonna use 20 right here. Okay, remember this is an air to oxygen ratio. So the FiO2 of air, the FiO2 of pure oxygen, 100 minus 50 is 50. 50 minus 20 is 30. And this comes out to 1.6 repeating to one, okay? When your FiO2 in the box is 50% or higher, the best practice is to round the air to oxygen ratio, round it to the nearest 10th position. So 1.6 repeating comes to 1.7 to one. That's a total of 2.7 multiplied by the flow on the flow meter, that's 27 liters per minute, okay? So a 50% Vinny mask run at 10 liters per minute delivers a total flow, it comes up to the patient at a speed of 27 liters per minute. And again, this total flow has to exceed the patient's inspiratory flow for it to function as a high flow system. So I hope this explains how to do the magic box. If you have any questions, just drop me a message. See you soon.